Hey, it's Jody. I have a new process video for Perfect Paints Design Team, and I am all about fall right now. I have found the cutest picture of my sister and her two older kids at the pumpkin patch. Um, I'm guessing the oldest is probably eight seven and the little guy is maybe four four three so yeah that was a long time ago Lucas will be 18 um, in March so yes so I do not get an orange in my design team package but I did get the beautiful yellow in rain slicker and the red in red wagon of the shimmering matte acrylics I did a little mixing I also added the gorgeous perfect clear texture gel and I used a Tim Holtz stencil and it's just the perfect texture to put through a stencil it's not too thin it's not too thick and of course it has all the shimmer I put it in a few different spots I also pulled out the art options spice collection from 49 and mark it it just went beautifully with the colors and of course with my fall picture I also pulled out some magical shakers just a few to bring in some more of those pretty colors I have a um, purple and orange and I think uh, a pink I'm not sure let's see Anyway, and I also used the beautiful peony pink and one of my new favorites, honey gold, and the shimmering matte acrylics. I thought I wanted to do kind of a half a reef thing. This collection has these beautiful leaves, but um but I didn't I didn't use it after all but the idea was there and I think I think the biggest problem was the die cuts were so large and I really didn't want to manipulate them too much um, but I did have fun I did have fun using all these pretty fall colors and just really I don't want to say making a mess, but it's just so much fun with splatters. You just get a little bit of color, a little bit of water, and go for it. It's just a little paint, y'all. Just try it. It's so much fun. It just brings everything to life. Um, it's one of my favorite parts. After I let it dry, it is on some v Vicky Booten foundation paper. Um because I knew it was going to get very wet and I was going to have some stencil work on it and I don't want to worry too much about my paper warping. I um, I need to invest in a new laminator so that's that's on the list that's on my wish list for Christmas coming up. Um, so here I decided to give these strips a little distress action it's always fun to see those um, peaks of white sticking out of the pattern paper it's just beautiful that brown that purple that orange plaid picture I also put a few layers behind my photo um, it's a orange watercolor color type pattern paper and a little bit of vellum I found the Autumn Pumpkins Together title. I thought that was fun. And the collection also had these beautiful pumpkin clusters. Oh my gosh. I think you could use anything from 49 and Market and it will be gorgeous. There is just, they are doing something right with all their stuff. I don't know. 
how much of a fan you are. Um, but I'm a huge fan. One thing is their stuff is a little pricey. So I think I got this on clearance a while ago because uh, this is their older fall collection. Um, and then I don't get all the things, right? You just get um, a few pieces that you love. So um, you can make a pretty good page. And that little Hello Fall, I ended up not using. He was just kind of, I don't know. I didn't like his placement. There are those gorgeous leaves that I was thinking of making the half circle with. But you could see they're so large. And I didn't want to cut them all up and make it like a perfect half circle. So, um, I just kind of went for it, put them in a few different places. The colors are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's just one thing after another. And that background, tell me how pretty that came out. It has this perfect shimmer. It's kind of a deep orange, but I really love how it turned out. I, um... I didn't want to spend too much time making like the perfect orange. I was very happy with this nice deep orange. Um, and then those other colors, that pink and purple. Yeah, I guess I didn't use any blue, but that's okay. And the gold, I mean, come on, it is so shimmery. I am popping everything up. Um, for a little dimension, I am using liquid adhesive um, with that adhesive foam because anytime you have mixed media on a page, you want to make sure you use liquid adhesive as well. And I think I am almost done. I wanted to put another little purple bit, but... I figured it was coming along and I had a few leaves that were kind of cut from other projects so I thought I'd tuck some of those in and I think it worked out pretty good look like at that blue is just ugh and that purple one put a couple down there and you don't even see the circle um, and I did kind of follow it, but it was not a problem. What else? So I don't know what am I, what am I doing? Jody, where did you go? Come back. I think I'm looking at the little things, um, besides the splatters. I always like to add a few small things. So I found these cute little heart buttons. Um, I think they were just part of this orange pack I have. Yeah, so I put the three there. I got my trusty palette out, gave it a little water, and used the colors a little bit more to add more shimmer, sparkle, and color to the final layout. And that is it. Oh my gosh, I love this page. I hope you found some inspiration. Please head to the blog for all the details. And we hope you come join our Facebook group. Um, we'd love for you to see what we're doing. I hope you're well. Take care. Bye-bye now.